unchecked desire, every unmanaged appetite, Father, every critical spirit, Father, everything in our life right now, oh God, yes. that would hinder and block and disrupt and, dis and, and, and delay the word of God that's trying to come forth today, Father, we come against it in the name of Jesus. And Father, we just pray today, Lord, that everything that you've spoken over our life, Father, that dream, hallelujah, the dream that we've been having and holding in our heart, Father, if it were not so, you wouldn't have told us. I don't know who needs to hear that. But everything that God put on your heart, that vision that is embarrassing to say out loud, if it were not so, you wouldn't have told us. Woo! If it were not so, you wouldn't have told us. So. Lord, everything that you put on the inside of this ministry, Father, if it were not so, you wouldn't have said it. So, Father, everything that you told us in the secret place, everything that you told us in that secret place, Father, I'm sorry, it's me emotional when I think about it, because y'all see a seed, but I see a forest. Y'all see a, a little sapling, but I see a crop and a perpetual harvest that God's about to bring forth in our life. It may not be real to you like how it's real to me, but all I know is this, if it were not so, he wouldn't have said it. If it were not so, he wouldn't have put the dream in your heart. If it were not so, he wouldn't have given you the capacity to do it. If it were not so, he wouldn't have given you the talent to do it. If it were not so, he wouldn't have given you the grace to do it. If it were not so, he wouldn't have given you the anointing to do it. If it were not so, he wouldn't have given us the capacity to do it. So Father, we thank you for our capacity. Thank you, God. We thank you for the anointing that makes the hard things look easy. It's hard preaching. Hallelujah. It's hard praying when you don't feel like it. It's hard doing ministry when nobody shows up. It's hard doing it when nobody's supporting you, when nobody's backing you, when nobody's sponsoring you, when nobody's looking at you, when you're in a season of obscurity and being hidden and, and being persecuted and being talked about and being ridiculed and being criticized. It's hard to do this thing that we call purpose. But, Lord, we thank you in this season, Father. Father, for our calling, anointing, and purpose, our cap, our capacity to hold and carry hard things, Father. Thank you for being a burden bearer. Thank you for being a heavy load sharer. Lord, we thank you for being Alpha and Omega. We thank you for being the beginning and the end. We thank you for being the author and the finisher of our faith. That Father, even though right now we're in the middle of a hard chapter of our life, we're in the middle of a hard page of our life, and we want to stop. Lord, we thank you that you wrote the end from the beginning. Lord, you know how our story ends. So Father, we surrender our right to be in control today. We surrender the pen of our life today, Father. And we say flip and turn the page however you see fit, yes. Father. You can do whatever you want to do in this yes. service. You can say whatever you want to say to us in this yes. service. Our heart is open and receptive to whatever you have yes. to say. Yes. So, Lord, we thank you right now for being Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Thank you for being Jehovah Nisi, our banner. We thank you for being Jehovah Gabor, the man of war. Lord, we thank you right now, hallelujah, for being Jehovah Shalom, that, Father, when our life is in chaos, when we're in the midst of a storm, when there when we're in the midst of a test, when we're in the midst of a trial, Father, that you are the God that can say to the winds and the waves that even the winds and the waves have to obey you and they have to say, peace, be still. So even in our life where we're having turmoil and having chaos and confusion, Lord, we thank you for being the God of peace, the God shalom. Thank you, Father. And Lord, we just ask in this moment, oh God, let the full manifestation of your glory sit heavy in this place. Let your glory fill this place today. Father, fill this place in our mind today. Fill this place in our soul today. But above all else, Father, if you speak something today and our mind hasn't comprehended it, Hallelujah. If you speak something today and our spirit can't decode that thing, yes, I pray today, Father, let your glory flood our hearts. Yes, yes, let your glory flood our hearts because in the heart, oh God, 
That's where you can change and shift and mold and make us into what you called us to be. So, Father, we declare a John 14 anointing, God, that come hell or high water, Father. Come a test and trials. Come any kind of opposition or persecution today, oh God. Come any type of uh, uh, hindrance or delay. We're going to say today, we're not going to let our hearts be troubled today. We're not going to let our hearts be tired today. We're not going to let our hearts be overwhelmed today. But today, God, we're going to rest on the promises that in your father's house, there are many mansions. And if it were not so, you wouldn't have told us so. So we pray this prayer in the mighty, matchless, majestic name of Jesus. For in the name of Jesus, every chain has to break. In the name of Jesus, healing has to come forth. In the name of Jesus, demons begin to tremble. In the name of Jesus, miracles can happen. In the name of Jesus, that's where the breakthrough is. In the name of Jesus, that's when we pray this prayer. And the only way that we know that it has any power whatsoever, it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. And amen. amen. Now, I don't know about you. Maybe you could get a, a Red Bull and that can give you a buzz. Uh, maybe you could smoke a joint. It may give you a buzz. You might go to Starbucks. That might give you a buzz. But something happens when we pray. Amen. Something, I don't know what it is. Maybe, maybe my heart don't feel as troubled anymore. I don't know. I feel a little bit lighter. Did anybody feel lighter in the air? I don't feel as tired. And it's under these temperatures and conditions and atmosphere that God can do something supernatural in this place. And I don't just mean this place, I mean in our hearts. So if you're dealing with something and you're stressed about something, just for the next few moments, let all that stuff go because I've got some good news today. First of all, we in person again, okay? I was glad when they said unto me, let's go. Let's go to detox. I was happy about that. So I am just so excited. I'm elated. I am over the moon because we are about to hear a word that's going to change your life. Okay. God has a way of taking a huge word, right, and slicing it a thousand different ways so that all of us could get a slice, okay? I don't know about you, I want a slice today. I just want a slice, okay? I might come back for seconds, but I'm hungry, I'm longing, I'm desperate for what the Lord is about to do, and it's about to be so powerful. So after a quick message from our ministry, we are going to have and you know what? Y'all y'all talk a lot of crap about the way I do it, but I'm going to do it. Can I do it like how I want to do it? Let me do it how I want to do it, okay? <clears throat> After a quick message from my ministry, we're going to have none other than, okay, business mogul, fashion icon, the most prestigious, illustrious, profound, and culturally relevant man to ever do it. I'm talking about often imitated, never duplicated. I'm talking about heavy stepper, okay? I'm talking about, you know, the greatest guy to ever do it. I'm talking this man of God is going to bless your life. He is none other than our pastor, our teacher, our leader, and my fiance. Come on, I never get tired of that. I'm sorry. My fiance, Pastor Javier Fitzbogle. Can we clap it up? 